Hi, I'm Joe, Product Manager at Smart Technologies. I'm here to introduce you to the new whiteboarding features that are in the iQ 3.2 release. From the home screen, we have a new whiteboard button that when you click that, it will launch the new whiteboard experience. One feature right off the top is that you're able to select different backgrounds. So you can choose one that suits you. When you draw on the new whiteboard canvas, the ink is movable. You can rotate and scale the ink with gestures if you like. Another new thing you can do is uh, use the highlighter on the canvas. If you move your finger to get more space, we'll automatically expand the page for you to give you more working room. The canvas itself you know, can zoom, scale, pan around. So this gives you about the equivalent of nine screens worth of space. So if you've been using the four horizontal screens in the cap whiteboard, you'll notice A, you can scroll up and down in addition to left and right, and you'll have even more space at your disposal. You can also work in multiple pages. Uh, if I want, just the new page button will give me the opportunity to add a new whiteboard page, or uh, I can drop in a shouted out activity. One other thing to note, the new whiteboard does not feature support for the CAP mobile app. If you are used to using the CAP mobile app and you want to use that to share with your students, uh, you'll find the CAP whiteboard lives in the apps library now. So if you're going to use it frequently, just tap the star on it to pin it to the home as a favorite. Inside there, you'll have the CAP whiteboard that you're used to. In the files library, you'll see uh, new whiteboards that you create with the new experience will be labeled with a notebook player icon. Uh, the old CAP whiteboards will still have the CAP icon. So if you have existing CAP whiteboard content, that will continue to open in CAP. Enjoy the IQ 3.2 release. Uh, if you have feedback for us, visit us at smarttech.uservoice.com.